All right, let's get started with our easy background segmentation. I'm going to open the face decoration template just so that I have a 3D object on the head that I can make sure is working fine with the segmentation. Because often we don't want just the segmentation, we're usually going to have other parts um, or other objects in our effect as well. All right, so our setup is pretty easy. I'm just going to add a rectangle over here in my scene. Now it'll give us a canvas as well. Uh, so with the rectangle selected, change the width to fill as well as the height. And then come up to your camera and we want to extract the segmentation texture. Make sure you select person. All right, uh, let's go ahead and give our rectangle a material. Uh, let's create a new material and let's name this background. And for the shader type, we want flat. And then we can either choose a color or if you have a texture and just drag that in and let's set that as our texture on the material. All right, so you can see our face is kind of sticking through. It's kind of going behind. That's because we need to add our segmentation. So enable the alpha, choose the segmentation mask, and you might see that the person is being hidden. So just invert that and now you have the background here. All right, so this is looking pretty good so far, but as he moves his head, you might notice the glasses are being cut off by this rectangle. If we take a look here at this, um, at our scene here, you can see we have our rectangle with the background, and then the glasses are occasionally going behind it as he moves his head. Uh, so the glasses that are where his face are, that's fine uh, because of the segmentation, but on the edges, that's when it starts to get cut off. So let's fix that. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my canvas up above the face tracker. I want this to come before any other 3D objects. The reason why I want this to be drawn to the screen before the 3D objects. Uh, as Spark is rendering the scene, it starts at the top and goes to the bottom. All right, so we have this coming first. Uh, you might notice we still have um, our issue with the glasses being cut off. And that is because even though we are drawing this uh, rectangle first, um, it is still being used to decide if things should be hidden or displayed. So select your material, come to the advanced render options and turn off right to depth. So what does this option do? Um, as Spark is coming down and drawing each object, so it's drawing our rectangle first, then when it gets to the glasses, it's saying, all right, I need to draw these glasses. Are they hidden by any other objects? And our rectangle here can potentially hide the glasses. So if we turn off this right to depth, that's just telling Spark to ignore this rectangle when it's deciding what to draw next. Now, um, another option I'm going to recommend you disable, uh, depending on your scene, is this use depth test. Now, right now, everything looks fine, but if you were to push this to your phone um, and Instagram and try it out, uh, we have this face occluder and head occluder. And depending on what way your head is facing, um, how far away you are to the rectangle, it might start to actually hide this background. So I'm just going to Disable use depth test. So this is also telling the rectangle, don't be hidden by anything else that's coming after it, essentially. So at this point, you're good to go and you can now publish your effect. Now, a few things um, I do want to go over. Usually in these sort of tutorials, people are creating one rectangle for the background, a separate background for the user. We didn't do that because we inverted our segmentation texture when we set it as the alpha on our uh, material. Now, if you have a more complex scene, if you have th other things in the background, you may need to play around with using a separate rectangle for the user, maybe play around with different layers. Uh, but for a simple kind of more straightforward effect, um, this is a super simple way to get that background segmentation added in.